If the reports are true that there's actually a shortage of Dr. Pepper around the United States, then it's official. 2020, you've gone too far. Too far. But we're actually here to talk about postponing fall sports. That is today on Midwest Sports Net. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sports Net, where we talk about small college sports and more. Well, a number of statements went out today on this Tuesday around the country in the NCAA and at varying levels. And we'll start with the American Rivers Conference, a Division Three conference with schools in Iowa and Nebraska. And the statement from the American Rivers Conference goes like this from Cedar Rapids. Due to Friday's NCAA Board of Governors announcement, the American Rivers Conference President's Council has announced the postponement of four sports from the fall to the spring semester. By the way, we'll talk about the difference between postponement and cancellation another time, but they did use postponement here. Those sports are football, women's, and men's soccer, and volleyball. They will be pushed to the spring. The conference intends to go forward with fall competition in women's and men's cross country, women's golf, and women's tennis. Sports that would be considered low contact or low risk or even possible possibly medium risk with the inclusion of tennis. The Board of Governors put new mandates in its resocialization of collegiate sports plan, the most concerning of which was the requirement to test frequently with short windows for test results in several sports. Prior to Friday's announcement, the NCAA's member schools had the latitude to use local and state guidelines in their approach to safely practice and competition for the fall. And so what you're looking at here, at least on this Division three level, but testing with the frequency with which they were asked to do so in these short windows for the test results, financially, it's just too challenging for a Division two or a Division three school to do. The NCAA knew that, and the NCAA knows that. And that mandate was made, however, in the resocialization of collegiate sport. The NCAA previously referenced the resocialization document as, quote, intended as a resource for member schools to use in coordination with applicable government and related institutional policies and guidelines, unquote. Friday's release changed that stance. Last Wednesday, the NCAA had put out a statement from both Division II and Division III that the fall sports championships, national championships, had been canceled for the fall of 2020. Of course, on Wednesday, the resocialization document was still intended as a resource for member schools to use in coordination with applicable government and related institutional policies and guidelines. However, Friday, that changed and the NCAA is mandating that its schools fall in line with this resocialization of college or of collegiate sport plan. The decision by the association's highest governing body left the American Rivers Conference President Council, President's Council with no options. And so that is where the ARC stands as of Tuesday, August 11th. They had no choice but to postpone the fall sports competition quite possibly to the spring for football and for men's soccer, women's soccer, and for volleyball. The ARC had no choice in the matter. However, there were other conferences that did have choices. We moved to Division I, where the Big Ten got what it wanted today and became the first Power Five conference to announce that the fall sports season had been, in fact, postponed and some have uh, stated in social media that it's canceled because it's unlikely that uh, some of these sports will be played in the spring. That remains to be seen. The conference statement itself says postponement of the 2020 fall sports season, including all regular season contests. And this includes all of the fall sports for the Big Ten. And in making this decision, which was based on multiple factors, finances not being one like D2 and D3, the Big Ten Conference relied on the medical advice and counsel of the Big Ten Task Force for Emerging Infectious Diseases and the Big Ten Sports Medicine Committee. Not long after the Big Ten made its decision known, the Pac-12 made its decision known as well. Statement from the Pac-12 reads, The Pac-12 CEO group voted unanimously to postpone all sports competitions through the end of the 2020 calendar year. This is, again, just like the Big Ten, all sports, not just a few of them, but all sports. And the decision was made after consultation with athletics directors and with the Pac-12 COVID-19 Medical Advisory Committee, who expressed concern with moving forward 
with contact practice. And so that is where uh, those do sit. There are a couple of differences that need to be pointed out in regard to these statements about which I just read. Number one is between the two Power Five conferences, note that the SEC, the Big 12, and the ACC have not yet made statements. But between these two, it did state explicitly that the Pac-12 CEO group voted unanimously to postpone the fall sports competitions. The Big Ten made no such statement. The second thing that needs to be noted between these two group of statements or among this group of statements is this, and that is Division I schools, the Power Five conferences in particular, had a choice and they chose to make this decision. Now the choice is not something that is really being debated right now as to whether it's the right choice, the wrong choice, that all remains to be seen. The simple fact of the matter is, is that the Power Five conferences had a choice. The American Rivers Conference did not have a choice. There were no options there. Financially, it's just not feasible to go ahead with the guidelines that were brought about by the resocialization document. And if you haven't read this document before, you may want to set aside a large portion of your afternoon, possibly into your evening, if you're going to try to read this entire thing. There are Supreme Court decisions, including majority and dissenting opinions, that are shorter reads than this resocialization document, but it is there for the NCAA. Now, this, of course, does not affect the NAI. We've talked about this on Midwest Sports Net as well prior and we will continue to talk about this to this point there are a number of NAI football conferences that will be moving ahead with their football schedule in the fall of 2020 we'll go on with more of that at another time it should also be noted today that the summit league has decided to postpone its fall competition for the fall of 2020 so that is there as well I want to say thanks for watching today if you did like and enjoy this this content please do like and share and please do consider subscribing to the channel Midwest Sportsnet I'm Joey McWilliams thank you for watching God bless you have a great day